Lent is a journey of our returning to God. Pope Francis says, it is a journey that involves our whole life, our entire being. Lent is not just about the little sacrifices we make, but about discerning where our hearts are directed. Is my heart directed towards God or towards myself? By listening daily to His words, may God's love and guidance be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time, set out for the great city of Nineveh, and announced to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh, according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single day's walk, announcing, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be destroyed, when the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaim a fast, and all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, laid aside his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in the ashes. Then he had his proclaim throughout Nineveh by decree of the king and his nobles. Neither man nor beast, neither cattle nor sheep shall taste anything. They shall not eat, nor shall they drink water. Man and beast shall be covered with sackcloth and call loudly to God. Every man shall turn from his evil way and from the violence he has in hand. Who knows, God may relent and forgive and withhold his blazing wrath so that we shall not perish. When God saw by their actions how they turned from their evil way, he repented of the evil that he had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. Responsorial Psalm A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart of contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it, except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, 
so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh shall arise with his generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah they repented, and there is something greater than Jonah here. Do you pay careful attention to warning signs? Many fatalities could be avoided if people paid attention to such signs. When the religious leaders demanded a sign from Jesus, he gave them a serious warning to avert spiritual disaster. It was characteristic of the Jews that they demanded signs from God's messengers to authenticate their claims. When the religious leaders pressed Jesus to give proof for his claims, he says in so many words that he is God's sign and that they need no further evidence from heaven than his own person. The Ninevites recognized God's warning when Jonah spoke to them and they repented. And the queen of Sheba recognized God's wisdom in Solomon. Jonah was God's sign and his message was the last of a merciful God for the people of Nineveh. Unfortunately, the religious leaders were not content to accept the signs right before their eyes. They had rejected the message of John the Baptist and now they reject Jesus as God's anointed one and they failed to heed his message. Simeon had prophesied at Jesus' birth that he was destined for the falling and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed so that inner thoughts of many will be revealed. Jesus confirmed his message with many miracles in preparation for the greatest sign of all, his resurrection on the third day. The Lord Jesus came to set us free from slavery to sin and hurtful desires. Through the gift of the Holy Spirit, He pours His love into our hearts that we may understand His will for our lives and walk in His way of holiness. God searches our hearts not to condemn us, but to show us where we need His saving grace and help. He calls us to seek Him with true repentance, humility, and the honesty to see our sins for what they really are, a rejection of His love and will for our lives. God will transform us if we listen to His Word and allow His Holy Spirit to work in our lives. Ask the Lord to renew your mind and to increase your thirst for His wisdom and truth. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, change my heart and fill me with your wisdom that I may love your ways. Give me strength and courage to resist temptation and stubborn willfulness, that I may truly desire to do what is pleasing to you. Amen. Amen.